I'm Dale Schultz and I've taught fourth grade for 28 years in Brooklyn Elementary which is part of the Oregon School District in Oregon, Wisconsin. Over the past few years our district has provided technology tools uh, for staff members and provided training on how to implement these tools in our classrooms. Today you'll see a video of a fourth grade math lesson and in that lesson I'll be using my smart board uh, as well as a couple tools to go with my smart board. One will be the wireless mouse, um, the wireless mouse as well as the airliner. Both of these tools uh, allow me to change screens on my smart board as well as uh, write problems on the board without actually phys physically touching the smart board. This allows me more mobility to wander around the room. Another check students individual work today in the at video the same time that I'm instructing the laptop the smart board. The mini laptops have access to our classroom blog. The classroom blog allows students to connect with school assignments from home uh, as well as uh, click on various links that uh, have curriculum related activities to uh, review or enrich uh, concepts taught in the classroom. Many laptops help me practice lots of different skills throughout the year. Our classroom block allowed me to do school problems from home. Another Kids tool will uh, do the, the quiz from the smart board and lesson. will answer all the from this deal. control device that they'll have at their desks. The nice thing about these controls is kids can get immediate feedback on their responses, whether they are correct or incorrect, and also scores are automatically tabulated on the smart board and filed on Excel sheets that I can use then for later interventions with the students' needs. The Sendios help me with getting ready for other computer testing because I can practice looking at the answers and eliminating some that I know are wrong. If I do not get the question, I can look it over before I click on the an answer. I can still come up and I can still do everything on here. The first question, the shape, Okay, what you're going to do here is just write the name. So guys, you're going to do math box one. Here, which of these pictures is the original figure in, the, in this first picture rotated clockwise a half turn? So you're going to take this and rotate it all the way from 12 o'clock down to 6 o'clock. Okay. Math box three, do your rounding right here. So, now, here's the last thing. It's work time. There's your music. We know the volume stays below the music. Finish the math boxes. Now, sorry, can you explain how you're changing one third right now? What did you do now? Okay, so you're multiplying each of your numbers by three to get three ninths. What is your first topic number going to be? Third grade topic five. Third grade topic five. Okay, you have your decimal written down? So I can take a look. 
What is your answer, Matt? D. Matt says D. Now, Matt, can you tell me why you are 100% sure it is letter D? And if you times both by 2, what's the new fraction? Six tenths. And 6 tenths is which one? He says letter D. Boys and girls, let's see if he's right. <laughs> right, so Matt is on the board. I hope you enjoy visiting our classroom while viewing this video using all the tools of technology in our fourth grade math lesson.